I wanted to show you something. Uh, I just uh, did um, on the card I put samples on it which were used in 91 on one of my tracks and uh, one of my tracks yeah and it was released in 93 on a CD called Tarafoot or Tarafoot and these are samples it's a bit dirty here but it doesn't matter for what I want to do yeah I have some distortion in the mixer actually I added some distortions that way so this is yeah this was released in 93 on my label and it's just fun to find it in 2024 and put it on this card to to just mess around with it I wanted to show you something with this module which is actually a modified radio music or let's say an expanded version uh, so it would work on the radio music what I'm gonna show now is if you send a clock into the CV input of the sample selection, it will select a sample, yeah? But this clock, when it's down, it's one sample. When it's up, it's a different sample. When the rectangle is here, one sample. When it's up, second sample. One, two, one, two. So it sounds like this. Okay. We have two samples. Okay. Now, if I take a division from this clock, this is clock, this is this clock, this here is this clock divided by two, and I send it to the CV input. Listen what it does. Bring some variations. Adding some beats. Etc. Etc. So it's just fun, and yeah, the video. The reason I did this is just to show you kind of fun with just clocks going into here because you have attenuator, verter, attenuators. Sorry, so it's possible just to attenuate the the high pulse or gate, however you want to call it, and just go into it instead of using the trig input. It makes more more variation. It allows you to have more variations in sounds. Cheers.